Hello friends! In my previous video I reviewed the Satsuki Yatoshi mod for the PC version of Final Fantasy VII. In this video I'm going to show you how to install it on your Steam Deck. The Satsuki Yatoshi mod is a fan-made HD upgrade for the PC version of Final Fantasy VII. I think it's the best way to play Final Fantasy VII these days. If you want to learn more about that mod, check my previous video. But for now, let's get installing it on the deck. Let's go through everything that you need to install the mod. Of course, you will need your Steam Deck, and you will need to have 38GB of free storage on the internal disk. You don't need to install any extra software except what is shown on this video. On top of the deck, you will need a mouse and a keyboard. And to connect the mouse and keyboard, you will also need a USB-C to USB hub. Let's get them connected. And to make things easier, I also recommend uh, connecting an external display and your power supply. If you want the challenge, you can try doing everything on the Steam Deck's touchscreen. So after you have plugged in your mouse and keyboard to the Steam Deck, uh, you can actually navigate the Steam interface with the mouse and keyboard. So first of order of business is to open the desktop mode, and we can do that by clicking the Steam menu, in power, and choosing switch to desktop. Let's open up Steam and at first we will go to our library and first we need to install uh, Final Fantasy 7. You can search by Final Fantasy, okay, and there we have it. Click on it and click install, just a regular installation. I have had some trouble installing it on the external disk, so I'll be installing it on the native storage of the Steam Deck that's under home slash deck slash local. And while Steam installs Final Seven, let's open our browser. So your Steam Deck should come with Firefox browser. I have also Chrome installed, that's good as well. So let's go. Firefox and let's search for the mod. So I usually search for FF7 uh, as I win and that should give you what we are looking for. So it's in this forums quahim.com and here scroll down a bit and you can find the uh, find full version for Steam installer here. So let's download that and save it. It will take a moment to download uh, since it's eight and a half gigs and apparently there is an update available so let's get that as well. Okay, and the uh, update downloaded already. Okay, the download is now complete so you can, if you haven't opened it on the file browser yet, you can hit this button and it should show in the browser. So it's a zip file, right click on it and there should be extract here, extract arch archive here, let's do that. Okay, and the uh, uh, file extraction is now complete. Uh, at this point uh, you might be running out of storage space on your deck, so let's get rid of the uh, zip file. So right click on the zip file uh, and then just move the trash. If you hold the shift key, you can delete it. Uh, confirm the deletion. If you're very brave, you can pick this here as well. And we should get here. Yeah, now we have a safe amount of space left. Okay, so what we have here is the installer file, the data file for the installer and the update file. Uh, and as we, as we all know, uh, the deck is a Linux system and not the Windows machine. So on a Windows machine you would just click on this exe file, but unfortunately on Linux. Let's see what happens if we try to execute it. Uh, Linux doesn't know what to do with the file, so let's hit cancel. And instead we will use Steam, and we will tell Steam, hey, this is definitely a game. So we hit add a game, add a non-Steam game, and then you hit browse. Okay, and then you are probably somewhere like this, so let's get to the as high as we can get to the dash and find home and we go to deck and then we should find downloads and now it shows just this desktop applications so linux applications or uh, shortcuts to them so let's switch to all files 
and instead we will choose the installer here let's hit open and then let's also add the update okay and then add selected programs and they should then appear in the list i think they will appear in the never used list oh let's filter by only available ones and then they are here no recorded activity if you are sorting by activity and we want to run the installer but it's not ready to run yet so right click on it and hit properties and hit use compatibility and force to use specific steam player compatibility tool and i like to use this proton 7 use stable uh, and let's do the same with the update properties compatibility force and then proton 7 point whatever is the latest one in your machine experimental should also work okay from your library find final fantasy 7 uh, right click on it select manage and hit browse local files uh, minimize steam to get it out of the way unfortunately steam has installed the internal storage game on a hidden folder this dot local which isn't visible to the mod installer so we need to create a link to that uh, Right click Final Fantasy 7 here and select copy. Then hit the split view, select this right uh, pane and then hit the home folder. So let's create a link to the Final Fantasy 7. So right click here, create new, link to file or directory and let's call it FF7 and paste here the link to Final Fantasy 7. Okay. So we get the Final Fantasy VII link here. So if you go down there, you can just get the Final Fantasy VII. So you can easily get to the Final Fantasy VII folder from your home folder. Okay, that's great. Next, let's run the installer. Let's minimize the file browser. Open Steam. And choose the installer and hit play. Let's minimize Steam. Hit I agree. And now Steam will start fighting you with this on-screen keyboard. Even if you close it, will just open it again so let's move this window up a bit so we can see uh, this on-screen keyboard may even create an unclickable zone so if you can't click on something just move your windows to the up or to the right and you should be able to click on stuff so let's hit browse here the installer sees the classic windows uh, stuff so you can see them on my computer you go to the linux side just open this dash that's the linux uh, root folder go to home pick and then final fantasy 7 okay and then hit install and then it should start installing and if we open the file browser we should start getting new stuff in this folder it's a relatively big installation so this takes a moment so just wait for it you can open the details view and see what it is exactly doing i think this takes about 10 minutes to install even on a faster machine if you're running on battery power you might want to move your cursor from time to time to prevent the steam deck from going to sleep okay the installation has completed so let's hit finish and uh, we've gotten lots of files here on the final fantasy 7 folder Okay, let's now install the update. So we have the update right here on the library. Hit play. And once again, let's minimize the Steam to get it out of the way. Yeah, here we go. Once again, we have the change log here. So let's hit I agree. And Steam is starting to fight with the virtual keyboard. So let's just hit browse. And browse to the Final Fantasy VII folder again. So dash, home, tech. FF7, okay, and install. It should be faster than the initial install. And the update installation has finished, so let's hit finish. Now let's try that the uh, mod has been installed correctly. What we have to do now is uh, add the mod launcher to Steam. So once again, let's go to add game, add a non-Steam game hit browse and then uh, go to the root folder go to home deck 
and our link to ff7 can't be shown here for some reason so we have to go to the actual installation folder so it's under local share steam steam apps common and here we have all of the installed games on f7 and once again you have to show all files and then locate the correct file so we should we are looking for exe files not the ff7 not the ff7 launcher it's this siw version 5 control panel exe uh, and then once again it comes here in the bottom if you have them ordered by your uh, activity uh, let's make the steam work with this one so let's say properties here you can actually call it uh, whatever you want so let's call it final fantasy 7 as iw mod and in the compatibility build up once again force use of compatibility tool, tool and i like to use the, the stable ones hit close and then select final fantasy 7 siw mod and let's make sure it works. So play. Uh, let's get Steam out of the way. It might take a little bit to boot. And here we have the launcher. Uh, you can here choose your properties, but let's just try uh, play it windowed and hit uh, launch FF7 SIV5. It's I don't know why it's dark on dark, but well, just click on that. Uh, currently, we just want to make sure that the game works and we are not going to actually play it. Okay, and you should get the loading screen. Uh, at this point, the, the Steam controls should work as well. And the interesting thing here is that you cannot quit the game if you don't have a save file before watching the initial movie, uh, if you're running in full screen. So that's why we have it in windowed. So let's just hit close. So, once the game has quit, we can remove these uh, installer files. So right-click on them, manage and remove non-steam game. And manage and remove non-steam game. But that just removes them from Steam. Let's also remove the, uh, the installation files. Uh, go to downloads. And then select all of these Tsunamods FF7 files. Right-click, hold shift and select delete. Uh, let's close everything here and go back to the gaming mode so in the gaming mode let's hit the steam button go to library uh, select final fantasy 7 siw mod and let's set up the uh, controller the default controller should work pretty well pretty well uh, but let's make it work with the mouse we need the mouse for the launcher so hit edit layout open trackpads and the right trackpad is good to use as a mouse so just hit choose as a mouse and let's add a mouse click here left click and now we should be ready to play so just hit play and you should be thrown into the launcher and here we have the launcher uh, what you want to select here i recommend having the hd fields this is the main attraction of the mod uh, i recommend also the hd bubbles looks good hd world map it looks good uh, magic and effects, I like them. Fonts and menus, yes, like to look much better. Uh, I've been using the 30 FPS FMV. Uh, I like the modern models and the HD mini games. Uh, I also like the transparent battle box, so let's enable that one. I don't care for the dynamic lighting, and but I like the PSX music emulation. Uh, then, if you want, you can enable the sound overall, but I don't really mind that. Uh, let's disable play windowed and leave the resolution to uh, auto but I usually like to save battery with the Super Samsung just 2x uh, you don't want to enable the 16 by 9 that will stretch the image and it does not look good uh, one thing I tend to enable is the save anywhere feature that's pretty nice what I really do like is the full 60 fps so let's choose that and hit launch And after a while, the game should launch. 
Uh, you can skip the intros by hitting any buttons. In Final Fantasy VII, the rightmost button, the B button, is the select, and the, the bottom A button is cancel. So hit B to start the game. And that's how you install Satsuki Yatoshi mod on your Steam Deck. Have fun! I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial of installing Satsuki Yatoshi mod on your Steam Deck. Have a great day!